beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed when God begins to use you, listen carefully, we're about to pray now. When God begins to use you and announce you in various dimensions to the nations, ladies and gentlemen, you must have it at the back of your mind that you are not there for yourself. Every time pride begins to come, fight it like you are fighting sin. Fight it like you are fighting the devil because it is a cancer that can destroy God fights anything that fights him, even if he's the one that gave you. I hope you know God can give you something he will later fight. <laughs> Just because he gave you, the moment it becomes an enemy to his program, even if it is you, he will get you out of the way. Is it in your Bible that there are people God resists? Is it in your Bible? Who resists them? That God himself can resist men talk more of things it is not every loss that is demonic there are some losses that have come because you have used it to become an enemy to god's program he does not resist it because it's his character to deplete anything that stands the way of his program even jesus when he became sin the father turned his face from him eloi eloi lamak sabachthani father me and you again he said no this is not jesus on the cross this is a compendium of all men an embodiment of sin and he turned his face i hope you know that god himself submits to the integrity of his word that he has exalted his word even above his reputation the word name there is his reputation god is touched by the feelings of your infirmity but he's only moved by his word touched with the feelings of your infirmity but moved by his word so just because you are crying does not guarantee that god will move even as god there is a modus operandi that governs his activity the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he says the same was in the beginning with god verse 3 says all things were made by him and without him that means outside of him was not anything made that was made that's john 1 1 and 3. without him outside of his influence was not anything made hallelujah this is what gives us the confidence to do the things that we do this is what gives us the confidence. This is what gives your man the confidence to know that 10 years from now, Calvary Bible Church will only be going from glory to glory. Why? Because there is a scriptural guarantee that if it is true that you are the just, it says your path should be as the shining light that shineth ever brighter, Satan notwithstanding, unto the perfect day. When that scripture was written, God was aware that Satan was on earth and the scripture was still written. Are we together now? Yes. There is no challenge that you are going through tonight that is new under the sun. There's none of us here 
who went through Job's kind of tragedy. Yet the Bible testifies that at the end of it, the latter end of Job's life was even greater than the former. In Job 42 and verse 10, the Bible says the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And then the Bible even tells us how it happens. It says that he gave Job twice as much as he had. The secret is found in verse 11. He says many of his acquaintances, his brethren, the people who left him before, they came and they ate bread with him in his house. They bemoaned him and comforted him of all the calamities that had befallen him. And the Bible said, every man gave him a piece of money. So every man can give. It just depends on who directs them. The Bible says, every man plus the stingy relatives. That man was crippled and they did not attend to him. But when the king said, give him, I'm praying for someone in the name of Jesus. May the king ordain an instruction on earth for your rising. May the king compel men to give. The Bible says, every man gave. Sit down. Apostle, you don't know how greedy my uncle is. I respect your saying. But it's because you do not know that there is a name God is called. The father of spirits. That every spirit submits to him. When God compels a man to bless. Pharaoh, as hardened as Pharaoh was. He was the one who gave favor to the Egyptian, to the Israelites. To the point that when they had left, it was like a charm. Something came over him and he said, what did I do? I gave the gold of Egypt, pursue them. An influence can come upon men and compel them to bless and favor you regardless. Look at that scripture. Let me show you how God restored Job. Every man, I read this scripture many years ago and I cried. I said, so every man can give. Don't let anybody tell you me, God forbid, I will not attend to you. Respect them and leave them. Go back to the king who sent you and said, king, you had the arrogance of your creation. And the king will say, leave me and them. Hmm. This king, this mysterious king, all powerful he's called. Every man gave unto him. Let's finish that scripture. Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. How many of them? My question is, were they not there? From a logical standpoint, at his time of pain and that time, which was the best time to help him? So don't blame somebody for forgetting you. It depends on what is on your head. And it depends on the verdict that was passed over you. It says, thou anointest my head with oil, not my cup. You anoint my head, but I can know what is on my head by looking at my cup. If your cup is empty, stop blaming the business. It's not the business. The business is a report card that there is something you are not carrying or not carrying enough. Till there's only you Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your place Listen, when you, when you believe what I'm teaching you you will live a humble life but nobody on earth will bully you because everybody was created this emotional bully that goes on from nation to nation looking down on people by reason of whatever it is all that is absolute nonsense when you are indoctrinated and intoxicated with the extent of the love of the king for you I may have said it in this church if God says he's blessing ten people I'll start praying for the remaining nine because one spot is gone already at the point he said it one spot is already booked that is how much he loves me do you believe this this is not a preacher sermon you can't fake these kinds of things for a long time one day to become clear that you are talking nonsense believers why are we here tonight Number one, to experience the power of God. The supernatural power that is invested in this kingdom. We belong to a glorious kingdom. We belong to a kingdom that is higher than the realm of science. So don't ask how the growth disappeared. You only know what you were taught in school. But there are other dimensions higher than the... 
witchcraft in africa should help us believe god easier because witchcraft has is a realm that is higher than the three-dimensional realm and people have seen a semblance you know in in africa in marketplaces there are people i don't know if it happens here but there are many markets where people play with hyenas they play with swords that don't cut them these are manipulations of spiritual laws i'm not exalting witchcraft i'm just saying that possibility should already charge you to know that if this can happen look at what you know the level of technology right now is opening us up to dimensions all kinds of things and the king sits upon his throne and says i will make you the head and not the tail and you are there cracking your little mind saying how you put your little statistics the y the x and say lord it does not add up and he says take it away my thoughts are not your thoughts my ways are not your ways for as high and far apart as the heaven is yours is to believe him to believe him even through wisdom and say lord i may not understand the bible says just like you do not know how the bones of her who is with child are formed or the way of the wind so you do not know the ways of god that means the dynamics of how god manifests things god can say by tomorrow you are a millionaire and you say lord i do not believe this ask the land of samaria and ask the arrogance of the man upon whom the king leaned he said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen and i'm sure the king saying the windows of heaven do you know what happened the last time the windows of heaven were opened ladies and gentlemen it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom and all the blessings that come with that kingdom because the king is also your father comes from the word Abba the word Abba means your source your sustainer your protector your defender that means everything that plagues you becomes a concern to him so the bible says to come boldly before the throne you are coming to meet a king except that it is a throne of grace not just a throne of justice it is a throne of grace so that in spite of your inadequacies you still have access to the king hallelujah this is the mentality i carry when I pray for the sick and minister and all the things that God does through my life, listen, this is all of me. You are intelligent. Look at me and look at the result. You know there's a missing part of the equation. <laughs> that missing part, only his size can feel. One plus Jesus is equal to the answer he puts there. Any answer he puts is right. One plus one is two, mathematically. Are we together one plus one plus one is three but one plus even if he's zero plus jesus doesn't matter what came the moment you add him there is no equal to is the answer he puts there hmm. creator of the universe what can you do what can you do, Jesus? One more time, I want you to sing it. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I like this part, says, You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus. Apostle, are you saying at the instance of a prophetic word, I can leave this meeting and go back home and things begin to change? Exactly that. If you believe that you understood my sermon already. Apostle, are you saying that I can leave this place like this and someone who has forgotten me can suddenly remember me yes sir yes sir yes sir apostle are you saying I can carry a grace out of this church that I did not come in with yes sir because this is the house of God Bethel the place of bread there is a hallowed bread of the spirit there is the anointing that can rest upon a man Please believe this man of God 
are you saying apostle that something can come upon me that by Sunday when I climb my pulpit is going to be fire there yes sir listen 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 if water can turn to wine if Saul can turn to Paul why can't poverty turn to prosperity why can't why can't weakness turn to strength but you see listen listen to me listen to me listen to me i'm only showing you how far god can go for your sake there is one more thing i will show you and then if all i do is to speak over you afterwards i will live satisfied are we together now God is able never forget this God is able never forget this God is able let this revelation make your problem become very small this is what encounters do they shrink everything the, the devil has over bloated and magnified are you aware that your children are going to school are you aware that the school fees has been multiplied are you aware that you have just one week and now you are sitting yes you may have been careless financially but he will solve that problem first before he will now teach you how to get it systemically he will not allow you suffer because you got yourself in a mess but he will still solve that problem before he teaches you the kingdom's way of systemically building wealth he will not allow you go through shame now that embarrassment is imminent this is the advantage we have in the kingdom please sit down i want you to write this now and then we'll pray please write this down there are three keys that control the manifestation of extraordinary results i felt stirred in my spirit to just say this three keys that control the manifestation of extraordinary results if i do not teach you this i hate to be a bearer of bad news but many of you may have shouted for for just an empty shout in vain i need to show you these three keys key number one the first key that controls the manifestation of extraordinary results is revelation knowledge revelation knowledge first the knowledge of god and then number two the knowledge of his systems god is a god of systems the first key for commanding extraordinary results is revelation knowledge and i'm saying there are two dimensions of knowledge there under that point number one the knowledge of god himself like you have been taught but number two the knowledge of the systems you call them the mysteries of the kingdom you call them the modus operandi of the kingdom now please look up it's important for you to understand that as mighty as god is he is the god of systems we see through scripture that he seldom does the same thing twice what god does his character is that he introduces a spiritual process and builds a system around that process for continuity are we together so he made the first man and the first woman and never had to make man again he built a system called reproduction are we together and it is by effectively practicing that system that we even have a problem with population on earth today that that after thousands of years that system still stands valid are we together now that when he planted in the garden he put within the tree the seed that represents a system for continuity are we together now so knowing god is wonderful but you must understand his modus operandi that means there is an economic system to the kingdom there is a system in the kingdom for influence there is a system in the kingdom for longevity are we together your assignment is not just to know the possibilities that this kingdom contains but to study the systems that lead to them those the the desires the prayer points that we have are spiritual outcomes there are exact systems that lead there so if i am in trouble 
there is a spiritual system for deliverance for instance i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise and he says so by calling upon him a combination of prayer and praise shall i be saved from my enemies that is a spiritual system at midnight paul and silas bound and doomed for destruction the bible says they prayed the same system and then they sang loud enough for the prisoners to hear them and there was deliverance for them are we together yes favor has a system we have taught in the body of christ respectfully speaking for many years that favor is unmerited i disagree i disagree favor is multi-dimensional it is only one dimension of favor that is unmerited that which is touching the saving grace but favor that manifests as results and abundance and prosperity is merited it works based on laws are we together proverbs 13 15 it says good understanding procured favor but the way of the transgressor is hard is that in your bible that means you can program favor and you can program its continuity so that it does not just happen once it can happen again and again regardless the location that you can master the laws of favor to a point that in 24 hours if you are not favored you will go for a retreat you can hold on to eternal life with that level of accuracy how about influence influence is there is an anointing that brings influence but there are systems in the kingdom that elevates a man to a position are we together now yes for instance when you become valuable and you provide constructive solutions that are needed and useful as far as a civilization is concerned and you know how to package your value intelligently and serve it to a targeted consumer base you will not only be rewarded it will translate to influence influence has laws now most believers especially in africa haven't rejoiced like we did earlier we just end in that realm of superstition and remain there and hope that since this king is great Oh, yeah, oh, I've been waiting. You are not lifting me. Whereas you can rewrite your story when you get tired. The systems of the kingdom were designed to bring predictability to the results of the believer. Are we together now? If a, if a terrorist goes to the farm to farm, will the crops grow? Please talk to me. Will the crops grow? Not minding that he's killing people. He will go to hell when Jesus comes. But as far as the Lord's seed time and harvest is concerned, it is a system. And a dimension of God's power has been programmed within that system. So I need to tell you this. If you want to command extraordinary results, it is knowledge dependent. Now in truth, there are dimensions to our results that no amount of knowledge can be able to produce. There is an added factor to it, but that which is our responsibility, we must hold on to and do diligently. Are we together now? Yes. So revelation knowledge, you must know God and you must understand the systems of the kingdom. If I were you, when I go back and I'm studying this, this teaching, I will write out the list of areas that are not working in my life honestly and sincerely and take responsibility under God then begin to study the systems that are connected to that outcome say for instance it looks like I love God with all my heart but this finance is not working rather than guessing and saying one day go better I would go and get say school of money and get the pathway to wealth and put those books and those steps together are we together now because one of the ways that we obtain promises is to follow them ultimately we follow him but you can start by following them the them who are following him and you are still safe as you follow them follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise transformation is impossible until there is a reference so you must have people whose materials and minds he says look unto abraham your father and to sarah that body he says for i called him alone and blessed him and increased him you are not the first to desire rising so on the study from scripture what did they do and isaac sowed in that land and reaped that same year a hundredfold and the lord multiplied him he began to prosper he worked strong he was very great until the philistines envied him 
Are we together? Yeah. Let's assume that you're always losing valuable relationships. Everybody who loves you later leaves you. After you cast out the spirits that bring bad luck, if you stop there, you are in trouble. The spirits themselves will laugh at you because they know that there is a dimension of deliverance that comes through transformation. Casting out the spirit influence is only the first phase of deliverance. The chiefest part of deliverance comes by giving yourself a renewed orientation that he that wants friends must show himself friendly. So you go and buy books that help you to master relationships. You begin to learn laws like friendliness, like honor. Are we together now? When you learn these principles, people skills, you find out that you begin to have a greater command of valuable relationships. That is a kingdom system. What of the anointing? You find out that it looks like you are limited as far as manifesting the anointing is concerned. You go and get materials that teach you how to command and to grow in the anointing. Because grace and peace can be multiplied. Everything that comes to you from God comes as a seed. He gives you that seed together with the wisdom that makes for the multiplication. And in this case, that wisdom is the Holy Spirit. In partnership with the word, you can learn the principles that make for your rising. Are we together? Revelation knowledge. Number two, faith. The second key that commands extraordinary result is faith. Please put in bracket actions of obedience in simple terms. Now that ye know these things, the Bible says, happy are you if you do them. Having abundant knowledge without taking steps of faith will only end you in tragedy. You must sustain the courage that now that you know these things, you must summon the courage to act in faith, knowing that God will back you. And then finally, number three, the anointing. The assignment of the anointing. The anointing is the engracing of God coming to honor your obedience. We were discussing, I think it was yesterday night or so with... Um, uh, your man of God and we're just talking and he was talking about extra and ordinary that they come from two words there is extra God's dimension and God's role there is ordinary your own role if you leave extra alone it remains potent in the realm of the spirit ordinary alone that becomes very barren to produce anything supernatural is that combination of extra and ordinary that produces extraordinary I agree I agree it is always the spirit and the bride say come it's not the spirit alone and it's not the bride alone so when the spirit say be healed the bride must also echo be healed for healing to come when the spirit says prosper the bride must walk in keeping with the principles that make for prosperity for prosperity to manifest the bible says the word became flesh the process of becoming flesh was the holy spirit and a human vessel don't forget the Holy Spirit alone, as powerful as he was, could not produce Jesus in the flesh. Are we together now? Yes. Not because of bankruptcy of ability, but honor to his system. That if ever a spirit must manifest on earth wearing a mortal body, a human vessel, in this case a woman, must play that role. The Holy Spirit had to patiently look at how he lies with Mary. Zechariah made the same mistake Mary made and he was punished. And yet for Mary... How shall these things be? And it took time to explain. And she said, be it unto me. If Mary rejected, you have to go to another virgin and start begging. Because it is the spirit and the bride. Now the bride is available. What then stops the spirit? The problem is never with the Holy Spirit. He is ever willing. It's the laxity and the carelessness of the bride to learn the ways of the kingdom. Are we together? Remember, there were ten virgins. There's no time to tell you that story. But all ten were virgins. Their mistake was that some were foolish. And what was the foolishness there? They had the word, but they ignored the ministry of the spirit, the oil. So with time, because of the delay of the bridegroom, there was no oil. And the oil finished. And they had to run to go and buy. Returning, the door was closed. So that extra factor is called wisdom. Not just having the lamb, but having the oil. We're about to pray. Are we together now? And when we pray, we may not have time to take testimonies. My apologies because we have to honor the time. But I'm going to speak over the sick and over those who are oppressed. 
I will speak over you and declare prophetically over you. Then we pray that God will just release his grace upon our lives and we are done tonight. But I, the real assignment is what I have done now. These truths that you have received. Go back and camp with it and turn yourself into a more superior version of yourself that brings great glory and great honor to the king. That the testament of your life will become Galatians 1.24 and they glorified God in me. Please rise on your feet. Let's pray. Make sure you are not distracted. This is a very prophetic moment now. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to ask the Lord to grant you a mighty visitation. A mighty visitation even by the Spirit of God. Mighty visitation by the Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus. Now, you are trusting God for healing in any part of your body i want you to just place your hand right there place your hand right there very quickly if you are standing in for someone a loved one you can touch yourself as a sign if it's a part of your body you cannot lay hands on just make contact with your chest i want you to believe that jesus is able to heal and for those of you who are watching i want to pray for the sick right now hallelujah lay your hands and we'll pray you can use the other sessions to testify you can let pastor and the church know that jesus touched you in the course of this meeting in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen, amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. now i decree and i declare that every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing anyone here or our viewers online in the name of jesus the son of the living god I command that spirit to leave you right now. Amen. I command that demonic influence to leave you right now. Amen. Now I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I declare supernatural healing. Amen. Healing of the eyes in the name of Jesus migraines be healed in jesus name bone conditions be healed in jesus name blood conditions be healed in jesus name cancers die in jesus name ulcers be gone in jesus name kidney problems i bring life and healing for you in jesus name anyone suffering with the issue of blood i declare be healed now Amen. fibroids and all kinds of demonic growths i command them to leave your body now Amen. hiv be healed in jesus name Amen. heart conditions be healed in jesus name Amen. and if there is anyone here who is having anyone in the hospital maybe your loved ones in the name of jesus i release my faith and we stand under the corporate anointing we declare life to them right now Amen. that that same power that raised christ from the dead may that same power rest upon them right now Amen. in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now hear me every spirit that has impeded your progress in life and in destiny in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god i decree and declare by this mantle and this oil i declare they give way right now Amen. believe it they give way right now Amen. believe it they give way right now. Amen. Father, I am praying for everyone here who has not experienced the favor of God. 
in the name of Jesus by the power of the prophetic I decree and declare from tonight experience dramatic levels of favor the kind of favor that accelerates your life and destiny I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me anyone here who has lost money you've lost resources or maybe some business and things went down I declare by the power of prophecy between now and the next three months I call on the God of my covenant may you jack back to life may your finances jack back to life in the name of Jesus Christ for every home here where there has been mourning and languishing it looks like nobody is rising and nobody is going forward he said it was the Lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance I stand as one sent by God I push you prophetically go forward go forward go forward hey I prophesy to someone to ministry go forward to business go forward to career go forward in the name of Jesus Christ go forward in the name of Jesus Christ you hear me the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians chapter 9 when you begin to read from verse 8 upwards it says and God is able to make all grace say all grace that means graces are multi-dimensional God is able to make not some grace all grace are bound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency you know what sufficiency is the capacity to meet expectations without disappointing is called sufficiency so that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work remember you have been taught here that your results bring glory to Jesus because there is a sermon there is a kind of evangelism that happens at the instance of your results and God is saying to ensure that you keep producing results I can coordinate every grace you need the grace for speed the grace for influence are we together now every grace that is needed so that you are sufficient I'm about to pray for you now I'm standing upon the grace of the angel over this commission and all the men and women of God here represented I'm going to speak over your life this will be about my final assignment please just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out but I want to release something upon you and sincerely for as many whose hearts will be open my God will surprise you yeah. hallelujah now I decree and declare the grace that draws men to the secret place that grace for encounter maybe not for everybody but let it fall on someone now the grace for the secret place help them please that translates to a life of prayer a life of consecration may that grace that attracts the mantle of your destiny please help them receive it in the name of Jesus number two I pray for you there is a grace that can make all men see the spirit of revelation the eyes of your understanding being enlightened receive that grace right now receive that grace right now may your eyes be open to understand the ways of God may your apparatus may your eyes be open in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says then open ye their understanding that they might understand scripture number three can I pray for you there is a grace for speed dominion over time that in a short time you can do so much I don't know who desires that grace but may that fire I stand by the apostolic take that grace now take that grace now speed in ministry speed in destiny speed in your life help them please 
speed in the name of Jesus. You will run like Elijah. You will overtake the chariots of Ahab in the name of Jesus Christ. Speed, speed. That ten years is put in one year. That one year is put in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. We are wrapping up, but I want you to listen. Please don't just jump for nothing. Make sure you are receiving something. My God, fire is burning in this place. There is a grace for influence and visibility when that grace comes upon you it is impossible for a territory to reject you it is a grace for influence is the hear ye him anointing maybe not for everyone but for someone here you have worked on your skill you have worked on your value what you need is that grace i stretch my hands by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic receive that grace receive that grace receive that grace i command rise and shine rise and shine beyond lagos beyond the west beyond nigeria rise and shine by the spirit of the living god please help that lady so she doesn't injure herself in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please help them you don't have to be an usher we're wrapping up but if for those under the anointing please manage them so they don't injure themselves hear me the bible says speaking to abraham it says from where thou art lift up your eyes not from where you want to go from where you are lift up your eyes and look northwards southwards eastwards northwards it says as far as your eyes can see forget about where you are if you can lift your eyes let me tell you this from any location everybody on earth can see the sky from any location you don't need to travel to Kano or to your village or to America to see the sky it's the privilege of everyone once you can look up now watch this we are wrapping up my sincere apologies sir. listen how many of you believe that there is a grace called honor you see let me tell you what honor is honor is an engracing from God upon your life that makes people to perceive you correctly and to reward you to match your sacrifice it's called honor when the grace for honor is not upon you you will always be shortchanged based on the perception people have you can be the son of the living god but they will call you a carpenter's son because the grace for honor is not upon you listen to me he said take joshua the son of Nun, and said to anoint him with the spirit then he says take some of your honor and put upon him you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you upon another there are many of us here you are so great but because this mantle is not on you you are not perceived to match the true extent of your sacrifice it is amazing that those we call the best of everything in our world are not truly the best they are just the ones who have access honor as perceived in the eyes of a generation there are people in villages today who are living longer than those who the world says are the longest people but the grace for honor is not on them when the grace for honor is on you men will look for you listen baby jesus was born he had not solved anybody's problem as a baby born a compendium full of grace and truth including the grace for honor and three men magi came with gold frankincense and myrrh as matured adults to salute a baby when honor rests upon you you will marvel and wonder 
God will lift up your perception in the eyes of those who can bless you and cause them to reward you to match the true level of your sacrifice. Let me pray for someone who truly desires this grace. Maybe in your office, maybe in ministry, I decree and declare here at this Kingdom Global Conference, I prophesy upon someone, may that mantle for honor rest upon you. May that mantle for honor rest upon you. May that mantle for honor rest upon you. It will speak in your workplace. It will speak in your church. It will speak in your territory. It will speak in the business world. In the name of Jesus Christ. The final impartation that I want to do tonight, I want you to listen please. The final impartation that I want to bring upon your life if you will believe and if you will receive there is something called the gift of men the, when God truly wants to honor you he does not give you things he gives you men listen carefully when God truly wants to honor you he gives you men. Ideas are useless until men give life to them. Business is all about men, not products. The products are midwives. The, uh, the final person is a man. Kill every man on earth and they will give you access to the gold mines, access to the malls, and it will be useless. The ministry of men. Please watch this. I'm saying this because this is the assignment of the grace for favor. The grace for favor does not just bring things. Primarily, it grants you access to unusual kindness, unusual acceptance, and unusual access. All men dependent. You may have heard me say, ladies and gentlemen, that who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. If you are Esther, it's not enough to know God as wonderful as it is. The king must like you. Otherwise, nothing will bring you to the palace. If you are Vashti, pray that the king does not suddenly hate you. Because even as queen, you will leave the palace in shame. And he will never think twice about it. Let me tell you the truth. When God, the true proof of favor is not just material resources. Those are elementary things. The true proof of favor is access to the hearts of men. And that includes kings. The Bible talks about Nehemiah, the cup bearer of the king. Because he carried a strange favor, the king looked at his countenance and without asking, without asking the king, the king said, why is it you don't look happy? And he says, oh king, I'm here, but the walls of my city is not being built. And the king said, I will not only give you resources, I will write letters and I will send you. Let nobody come to disturb you. When men who came in the spirit of the Antichrist called Sambalat and Tobias, they came and they saw him building. And they wanted to frustrate him the bible says he used a skill to build that every man must build with one hand he held the sword and with another hand he was building if you only hold the sword with two hands you will not build and if you only hold your building materials with two hands you will not build one hand must hold the sword your spiritual contact with the realm of the spirit the other hand is your technical skill this is how we build every wall that brings shame but that happened at the instance of favor. I know what the favor of God can do. Believe me when I tell you this. If this is the only impartation you receive tonight, for some of you, by the favor of God, God can accelerate your life and bring beauty and color to your destiny and wipe the tears of your loved ones for God's sake. You already have wisdom to manage what favor brings. So we are not afraid of praying because favor without wisdom will only bring testimonies that don't have longevity. Testimonies that last is a combination of favor. Favor brings, wisdom keeps. This house is a fountain of wisdom. God has so lavishly put upon his choice servant the wisdom that it takes. Therefore I pray every man that must arise on your course by the favor of god in the name of jesus receive of their ministry now dear 
truly be loved. I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.